Hello there and welcome to the next lesson. In this one, I'd like to show you an overview of system flow for Figma. What we've done is we've mapped an entire framework that we have in Webflow. We shipped it in Figma as well so that you have the same pages, the same components. In the components, you have the same spacing and colors and everything. So this is basically one-to-one -one with the same naming conventions and all the components. We uh, just design them in Figma and then we implement them in Webflow. So why would you use System Flow for Figma? Well, this is pretty easy. If you are in the ideation phase of your project, you are working with a client and you run multiple iterations of the layout of your page, this is the most convenient way to work. I mean, Figma is a lot faster than Webflow in terms of exploring the styles and just changing the elements, seeing different versions of your website. So I strongly recommend you to, if you are doing the client work, to start with Figma and then you're gonna translate the, the website that you did, the layout that you did in Figma to Webflow. And thanks to System Flow, it's really, really easy. I'm gonna show you that in the latter lessons. Also, I won't lie about that we sometimes start in Webflow and we just don't use Figma whatsoever. And this is mostly for like really, really simple projects. And we don't have to create responsive versions in Figma. We just go to Webflow, we, we create a simple page. But those are for pages that we do for our needs, not for, for our clients. For clients, we usually use the structure that I'm showing you, the layout structure that we have here. We have different pages and everything is the same as pages in Webflow. We have all the components in the specific sections. As I said, name, naming convention is absolutely the same. So we have the same naming convention for both component names and also for page names. So you can easily afterwards find the same components in Webflow. And every time we add component to Webflow, we add it to Figma. Every time we add it to Figma, we add it to Webflow. So it's pretty consistent. Also, we have uh, all the styles here. So we have all the text styles for components, all the colors that we can easily transfer to Webflow later on. And as you can see, the sections are pretty much the same. So we have pricing, testimonials, FAQ section with components, and uh, there are nested components just like in Webflow. So how would you work in uh, this specific structure? Well, you create a new page. Let's give it a name home, for example. This is where you'll create your layout. Um, I usually just put it put this page on the very top of my pages stack and here we can start designing. If I press A or F in Figma, I'm gonna create a new frame. I, let me select MacBook Pro if you're designing for desktop, that's the way to go. And here you have the canvas where you can put all the components. One way to use them is just select the appropriate page. As you can see, this works so much faster than in Webflow. Webflow has to load these pages for quite a while. In here, you can just scroll through the components, easily copy and paste them uh, to the um, canvas that you have. Also, you can use the assets panel and that's, I think, more convenient way because you also have all the elements in here. You can preview them as thumbnails. You can also see the list or you can search for the specific component by typing its name. So for example, if I search for hero, I can just preview the list. And to be honest, that's my preferred way of working, but I know the names of the components. At the beginning, you can start with the previews. And now let's just drag and drop it on the canvas straight from the assets panel. And this is probably the best way to go and to use those components. Now, this was an overview in the next lessons. I'm gonna show you how to use Figma to efficiently design layouts with system flow. See you there.